All right, diving right in. This time we're looking at Landman, the new series over on Paramount Plus. Well, you know, the one that has everyone buzzing. And you've sent over a whole stack of articles about it, so we're ready to uh, really dig in and see what we can uncover about this show. Well, and what's really intriguing is that Landman is actually inspired by a real podcast. Oh, is that right? Yeah, called Boomtown. Okay. It's all about the Texas oil boom. Wow. So it's like we're getting a, a fictionalized peek into something that most people only know from like headlines. Exactly. That's really cool. Yeah. And speaking of things that are cool, uh, this show comes from the mind of Taylor Sheridan, Mr. Yellowstone himself. Yeah. This is what his fourth show for Paramount Plus. Seems like he's really found his groove in these uh, modern westerns, exploring those clashes between, you know, tradition and the modern world. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? You hit the nail on the head with the Yellowstone vibe. Mm -hmm. But this time it's not about like ranching and land ownership. Right. Landman dives into the world of, well, oil. Okay. The fortunes it creates, the impact it has on people and families, it's a whole different kind of legacy at play. Yeah, and speaking of those caught in the middle of it all, we've got Billy Bob Thornton leading the cast as Tommy Norris. Oh, he's perfect for this, isn't he? I mean, he just owns those rough-around-the-edges, world-weary roles. Absolutely. Like, Tommy Norris already seems like one of those morally ambiguous figures, like, you know, trying to survive in a tough world, kind of like what we saw in Goliath, but, uh, you know, with a Texas spin this time. Yeah, and speaking of Goliath, that's a great example of how Thornton can bring, uh, you know, depth to characters who could easily be uh, one-dimensional. Right. He's not just playing tough. You yeah. know, there's a vulnerability there, especially when it comes to his family, which is another um, another hallmark of Sheridan's writing, you know. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, think about the family dynamics in Yellowstone. Absolutely. It seems like we're going to get a similar exploration in Landman, but set against this this whole world of oil. Right. This whole backdrop of the Permian Basin and the oil boom. Now, for those who don't know, this is a massive oil producing region uh, spanning Texas and New Mexico. Fortunes are made and lost there, you know. And that instability, that volatility, it seems like that's going to be like woven right into the show's DNA. And that's where that Boomtown podcast comes in. Oh, out. right. Yeah. I mean, it really dives into the economic realities of this world, those boom and bust cycles that make everything so uncertain. It'll be fascinating to see how that volatility plays out in the lives of you know the characters we're about to meet. Yeah, it's like a whole world that most viewers won't be familiar with. And Sheridan's good at that, right? Oh, yeah. Taking us into these unfamiliar worlds and making them feel... Uh, authentic. Absolutely. But then, you know, it sounds like he's not afraid to go a little dark with Landman. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the articles mentioned a foreshadowed tragedy, you know, something that hits unexpectedly. Oh, wow. That's, uh, that's interesting. That could be the thing that, you know, really throws everything into disarray. Forces the characters to uh, confront their values, make tough choices, especially when it comes to family and, and what they're going to leave behind. You know, it seems like Sheridan's maybe going for something um, a little more nuanced this time around, yeah. like a slow burn that builds tension. Yeah, which is interesting because his other shows are known for, you know, being pretty high octane. Right. Lots of action. So maybe with Landman, he's going for something a little more character driven. Maybe so. Something that really explores the emotional side of these people trying to uh, trying to survive, trying to make it in this this wild world. I think that makes sense. Yeah. Especially when you consider that quote that keeps popping up in these articles. It's better you work for it real hard. That way nobody can take it away. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. It's like, you know, it speaks to the character's determination. Like they want to build something that lasts in a world where everything feels temporary. It really captures that whole American dream idea, doesn't it? Totally. But also that uh, that underlying fear. Like it could all disappear in an instant. Especially in a field like, you know, oil where the ground is constantly shifting. Yeah. So it's fascinating. And honestly, we've only just scratched the surface of what Landman has to offer. Right. We've got a lot more to unpack here. Let's uh, let's take a closer look at some of the key players beyond Billy Bob Thornton because, wow, the supporting cast is impressive. Oh, yeah. It's stacked. It really is. Yeah. You mentioned some familiar faces like James Jordan, John Hamm. Oh, yeah. It's like Sheridan put together like a... Uh, a dream team for this one. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, James Jordan, he's like he's like the rock, you know? Like yeah. he's been in so many of Sheridan's projects and he's always so solid. Yeah. He plays uh, Dale Bradley. Okay. He's this seasoned oil worker who's seen it all. Oh, wow. 
I can already picture him, you know, delivering those lines that are like wise but world weary at the same time. I could see that, yeah. Yeah, Dale seems like the kind of character who like brings that grounded perspective. Right, that voice of experience. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Especially in a world that's, you know, changing so rapidly. Right, and then you've got John Hamm who's who's playing a corporate executive. Oh, interesting. And he seems to be like the opposite. Yeah. You know, he's the new money coming in, maybe shaking things up a bit. Right, that outsider perspective. Yeah, exactly, that outsider perspective. Yeah, that often disrupts, uh, you know, the established order in Sheridan stories. It's going to be interesting to see them... uh, you know, go head to head a bit. Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Especially given, you know, Ham's ability to portray characters with a certain uh, ruthlessness. Oh, yeah. He can definitely bring that edge. Yeah. And then you've got, like you mentioned, Colm Fior, Ali Larder, Michael Pena. Oh, yeah. What a lineup. It's like, whoa, oh. how are all these stories going to intertwine? Right. <laughs> Each of those actors, you know, brings such a unique presence. Yeah. It's going to be a it's going to be interesting to see how those performances unfold. Definitely, definitely. But uh, shifting gears for a moment, let's talk about the uh, the younger generation in Landman. Oh, yeah. Because they seem to be uh, grappling with their own uh, set of challenges. Yeah, absolutely. You've got uh, Tommy Norris's kids, Ainsley and Cooper. Right. They're trying to figure out where they fit in in this world that's so defined by oil. Yeah, exactly. Um, Cooper especially, he's kind of at a crossroads. Oh, no. So he's, good. you know, torn between following in his father's footsteps or blazing his own trail. Right, the classic dilemma. Yeah, it's like that classic coming-of-age story, but set against this backdrop of, you know, boom and bust. Right, where the future is so uncertain. Yeah, and I think that's part of what makes Landman relatable. Oh, I agree. Even if, you know, we're not all living out in oil country. Right, that sense of um, disillusionment yeah. among, you know, younger people today. Yeah. Questioning the values that they've uh, inherited. That's a theme that resonates, I think, with a lot of people. And for Cooper, it's it's like even more intense because he's got, you know, the weight of his father's legacy on his shoulders. Yeah, that pressure to live up to expectations. It makes you wonder if that tension is amplified by those boom and bust cycles we were talking about earlier. Oh, absolutely. It's like... You know, they have this constant economic instability hanging over them, just adding another layer of uncertainty to their lives. Right. It's like, are they going to rise and fall with the fortunes of the industry? Yeah. Or will they find a way to break free? To create their own destiny, you know? Yeah. It's a great point, and it goes back to that quote about working hard so no one can take it away from you. Oh, absolutely. There's this constant struggle, you know, Yeah. between striving for success and the fear fear that it could all vanish overnight. Powerful theme. Yeah. And it seems like it's really at the heart of Landman. I think so, too. It's a theme that Sheridan explores so well in his other work, you know. He's not afraid to show the human cost, the toll it takes on people, families, relationships, communities. Absolutely. And it's not just the physical toll. No. It's the emotional and psychological impact as well. There's like a there's like a rawness to his work, a realism that sets it apart. For sure, yeah. One of the articles describes a scene where Tommy Norris has this uh, rare moment of tenderness with his daughter. Oh, with Ainsley. Yeah, it's like a glimpse into the man beneath that rough exterior. Right. But it also hints at the vulnerabilities that these characters are carrying around. It's those little moments, those human moments yes. that make Sheridan's characters so compelling, even when they're, you know, making questionable choices. Exactly. Operating in those gray areas. You know, I have to admit, I was a little skeptical at first. Really? Another Sheridan show, mm-hmm. you know, about tough guys in the West. Yeah. But then I dug into these articles and I started to see the nuances, the yeah. layers that set Landman apart. Yeah, I had a similar reaction. There's a depth to this story. Yeah, absolutely. A willingness to explore the complexities of the oil industry and its impact on people. Yeah, it goes beyond those typical tropes of the genre. It's not just about the industry itself. It's about the people. The individuals. Their choices, the consequences they face. Right. The Permian Basin becomes like a character in itself. Yeah. It shapes their lives. Absolutely. That sense of place is so crucial in a neo-Western. Yeah. And, you know, it makes you wonder how much Sheridan relied on that Boomtown podcast to capture that authenticity. Did he incorporate specific stories, anecdotes from real oil workers? Yeah. Did he delve into the history? The history of the Permian Basin? It's clear he did his research. Yeah. But I'm curious to see how it's all woven into the narrative. That's a question we might not be able to answer until we've, you know, seen more of the series. Yeah. 
Sure. But based on what we have so far, it seems like he's using Boomtown as a foundation. Okay. Like a jumping off point to explore not just the industry, but the human experience within that world. And that's what has me excited, honestly, to dive into Landman. You too. It's not just about oil. It's about people. Absolutely. And affair. About their dreams, their struggles. And their legacies. And speaking of legacies, there's one character we haven't talked much about who seems to play a key role in all of this. Yeah. Tommy's ex-wife, Angela. It sounds like she's a lot more than just, you know, the bitter ex. Right. Like she played a big part in building the family fortune. Yeah. But now it seems like she's disillusioned. Okay. And really wants to, you know, protect her kids from the dark side of the business. It's interesting how Sheridan writes female characters. You know, yeah. they're not just there as like side pieces or love interests. Right. They're strong. They challenge things. They fight for what they believe in. Absolutely. And Angela seems to fit that mold perfectly. She does. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if she ends up being a real force in the show. Yeah. Like someone who pushes Tommy to really confront himself, you know, and what he's doing. And speaking of confrontation, it makes me think about that tragedy we were talking about earlier. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if if Angela's perspective on the oil industry, maybe even her past experiences, you know, could shed some light on how things lead to that tragedy. You're right. You're right. Like, could there be a connection between the risks of the oil business and the sacrifices these families have to make? Oh, that's a really interesting thought. It's like Sheridan's weaving together all these different threads. Yeah. The personal, the professional, the historical. And then set against this world that m most viewers wouldn't otherwise see. Exactly. It's not just about the industry. It's about the people who live and breathe it. And for those who aren't familiar with the Permian Basin, you know. Right. It's a chance to understand its history, its impact, the environmental challenges. Like getting a crash course. Yeah. On something that's often overlooked, but really affects us all. And it's not just about the facts and figures, you know. Mm -hmm. It's about the human stories. Exactly. Landaman reminds us that there are real people behind every barrel of oil. Taking risks, working hard, making sacrifices. It's a reminder that our choices, you know, individually and as a society have consequences. It's like that ripple effect. And it's that sense of interconnectedness, that shared humanity that I think makes Sheridan's work so powerful. Yeah, he's telling stories about us. Yeah about our hopes and fears, our struggles. Trying to find meaning in a world that can feel pretty chaotic. Absolutely. So as we wrap up our deep dive into Landman, yeah. I think it's safe to say that this show has the potential to be something really special. I agree. It's a blend of fact and fiction, realism, emotion. All against this backdrop of, you know, a world that's both familiar and totally unknown. And it makes you ask questions. Yeah. Consider different viewpoints. Absolutely. It makes you reflect on your own values, your choices. You know, thinking about those hardships in Landman. Yeah. How might those boom and bust cycles reflect our own lives? Are we prepared for the ups and downs that inevitably come our way? That's a great question to consider. And remember, this whole deep dive was tailored just for you. Just for you. Based on the articles you sent. Based on what you wanted to know. We hope you found it insightful, engaging, and maybe even a little thought-provoking. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, keep diving deep into those stories that matter to you.